hey guys and welcome to my studio welcome to my bangs uh it has uh not been a while since the video thankfully uh thanks to meg rather we have been on track and had videos every week for the past few weeks which has been amazing uh, but it has been a little while since i vlogged um i really should have vlogged last week because last week i was doing a lot of stuff that i could show you guys um this week is busy and it's kind of a strange week because it's like the last week before christmas so um i'm just trying to cram in a bunch of client stuff oh my gosh a side note on the bangs i got them as you can see a little while ago and i have curly hair and so today they are just like well every day really they are different and today they're doing this thing where they're like all going a swoosh in the same direction anyway i don't know how to style them and i don't have a straightener and even if i had a straightener i wouldn't use it because i'm too lazy uh but yes still getting used to the bangs so i am working on a logo and some packaging illustration uh, i can't show either of those things uh, also doing an editorial piece and uh, trying to wrap up a potential buyout of like a kind of large batch of illustrations for um, some surface pattern stuff. So um, that's all happening this week. Probably some of it will spill over into the week, uh, to the few days after Christmas, but uh, unfortunately I can't show any of that work. So I've been trying to think like, what can I even show you guys that is interesting this week? Um, we'll have to see. I, I, I always feel like there's gonna be nothing to see and then I end up filming something that's interesting or thinking of something. So I've just gone ahead and started. But um, anyway, today is Wednesday. Uh, it's actually a little bit after three on Wednesday. Um, and yesterday I was just working on packaging illustrations all day um so uh which i could show absolutely none of and also it was like my fourth day i think without a shower so i was too embarrassed to film myself uh so uh this afternoon i'm going to be doing a bit more work on the packaging illustrations um that's probably all i'll get done today um that's been uh, going smoothly so far which is great um, and then next, uh, no, tomorrow, I'm going to go take down, um, Feast. It was only up for like three and a half weeks, um, because the whole goal was to, uh, raise money for this group community servings, this, uh, organization, nonprofit, um, and almost all of the paintings have sold, which is amazing. So I'll be able to write them a nice big check, uh, next week, but I have to go pick up uh, two of the paintings tomorrow. Um, most of them are all getting picked up by the in person by the people who bought them because nobody wants to pay to ship a framed original. It's expensive. Uh, but there are a couple that were bought by someone uh, in the UK. A pair, a pair of the originals. Um, so I have to pick those up and uh, then get them in the mail by Friday. I have a couple other things to ship this week as well. Um, yeah, and we'll see. I'm hoping that some other interesting things happen along the way. Um, for now, I'm going to sit down and start drawing. Good morning, guys. It is about 9 o'clock on uh, Thursday. Um, yesterday, all I did was continue to work on the uh, packaging illustration that I couldn't show. Um, I'm actually doing quite a bit of this one digitally because it's kind of a unique uh, project they are having me do um, the subjects mostly in black and white just mostly in grayscale so that they can digitally do the color and have like more flexibility with it um, which is a first for me I haven't ever done that sort of uh, a project and then I'm also doing additional digital layers that they can add on to further tweak and um, customize things so uh, i was just working mostly on my ipad uh yesterday since i had already finished the uh the traditional part of the illustration um so i'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it's going um i had another client that was really late on getting feedback to me this week so i was actually able to focus way more on the packaging project than i thought and um may even finish ahead of schedule which would be great so right now, this morning, I've just been doing some email and admin stuff, following up on a couple of late invoices. 
um i think it's just like the time of year like it's always i feel like almost always invoices are at least a few days late regardless um even with bonsai although it's way better than it used to be for me uh, but this time of year it's just even more hectic and plus you know a lot of people will leave work this friday or when will you guys be seeing this you guys will be seeing this after christmas right now it's right before christmas so um yeah the 21st what is today yes today's thursday tomorrow's 21st a lot of people will leave work then and uh won't be back until like january 2nd so we'll see those invoices just may not get paid until the new year and if that's the case that'll be fine um but nevertheless i've been following up on those and was just posting a little bit on instagram i am running um I'm running another giveaway for a year long membership to Skillshare Premium, which depending on like how you pay for it, whether you pay by the year or by the month, it's it's between like 100 and I think $140 for a year. So um, it's definitely a good deal uh, to be able to get that for free. Uh, a good deal, of course, it's anything is a good deal for free. Uh, yes, and this time, last time I did one, well, I've just done one on my Patreon page, which was just a, a drawing as well, a random drawing. Um, and I do special giveaways on there, so uh, that's something to note. Uh, but the last time I did a public contest for uh, Skillshare, it was uh, um, merit-based, so people had to submit their illustrations, and I chose the best one. And I was thinking like that would be so much easier because then I could tell by like people's effort who who wanted it the most, basically. Um, um, but that was not the case like everybody really brought their a game and i had such a hard time choosing one so after that i was like i'm never doing that again i'm only gonna do random drawings uh random selection random number generator whatever so that's what i'm doing for this one um so i will put the rules in the description box so if you guys are watching this i think you guys will be watching this on the 28th so the last date enters december 30th so what you have to do is enroll in the skillshare class um, and post a class project. It can even be a totally, it can just be a partially finished one. It doesn't have to be a, com a completely finished one. Um, enroll in the Skillshare class, my newest one, um, Painting with Mixed Media. There will be a link to that in the description box as well. And if you use that link, I mean, you can find these everywhere online, so use whatever link you want. But if you use this link or someone else's link, you can get two months uh, free. So, um, and then if you happen to win, you would also get the year on top of that. So, uh, yes, sign up for the class and, um, post the class project by December 30th. Everyone who posts the class project by December 30th will be automatically entered. Uh, and then you can also get additional entries by sharing on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter and tagging me so that I can see you. And each one of those will count as an additional entry. So you do have to have it in the class project to be eligible. Um, there have been a, a couple of folks who've just been posting on social and unfortunately those are not eligible but um, yeah post in the class project uh, can be any stage of completion and then um, post on social for additional entries by uh, December 30th and then I'll be giving choosing randomly choosing the winner on December 31st and sending them a code for a free year of Skillshare so um, right now it's uh, a little bit after nine I have to head over to Somerville to pick up uh, those paintings that I mentioned. Hopefully get back here by like 11. Uh, be awesome if it was <clears throat> a little before then even because then I have to pack up the uh, the paintings and uh, and head out. So um, that is what is going to happen this morning. Um, I may take the camera along with me. We'll see. Hello once again. Back in the studio. Um, I am in a huge mess here, sitting in the center of a huge mess because I'm trying to pack up and ship um, these two originals. Um, I am sending them both to the UK. Uh, I've never sent, I'm trying to think if I ever have, I've sent framed originals to shows before, but I've never, um, I haven't ever uh, ended up selling framed originals that I uh, sent to buyers and definitely not overseas. Uh, so I've just been trying on several different boxes. Um, I was thinking initially of using um, uh, two separate boxes to having one in each box because they fit really well. 
but um, this box would be like $70 to ship and then this box would be like almost $70 to ship. Whereas if I put them both in this box here, um, it'll still be, I think like, well, close to 80, but still way less than um, two separate boxes. So um, yeah, I've, I've basically tried like six different boxes. Um, and thankfully, because of the time of year, we happen to have a lot of boxes lying around. So and the only unfortunate thing is that this one is the one that has all of my um, my samples from the Green Valley project. So I have to see if I can fit those into another box. I also have like a bunch of Christmas gifts, Penny's Christmas gifts here, uh, because uh, I tried a box that some of those came in. That was too small. So. I think I'm gonna use this one. And this is actually like a super nice, like double thick box. So um, the only tricky thing is that I use my food scale to determine weight um, for packages, which I'm never really sending huge packages anyway. And even when I send originals, they're almost always flat. So it's pretty good for measuring that. But I, I know that this is gonna be too big, but I'm not sure if it will fit on our regular scale. Um, I'm probably just gonna have to buy a postage scale at some point, I just like, sharing the space the studio space with penelope it's so limited in here so i just try not to have stuff that i don't need but um i think i may need that the reason i can't just bring it to the post office is that i use ship station which um i get like a they give you a bit of a discount on shipping the same way that um etsy does so i think i'm just gonna try measuring it on our scale see if that gives me a ballpark and then round it up by a pound and then i will drop it off in person um plus also i mean I guess saying all of that makes it sound like it's even more of a hassle, but the uh, the other thing I like about doing it from home is that I can do the customs form there. Like I hate it when you get to the post office and you have to wait in line and get the customs form and then go back and fill it out and then wait in line again. Uh, at least that's how our post office is for whatever reason they don't have customs forms just sitting out. Uh, so I need to get these packaged up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I will do that. All right, so the first thing I have to do is move my computer. <laughs> And then I have just some plastic sheeting that I have saved from different Blick orders. I'm first gonna wrap um, each of these uh, in some plastic sheeting just to make sure nothing comes into contact with the surface. And this is all, um, I believe it's all acid free because it's what Blick ships their high end papers in. I love it when my inner pack rat that wants to hold on to every single box and piece of cardboard and piece of plastic uh, is actually rewarded. As of yesterday, um, how many paintings? So there were 11 total. As of yesterday, eight of the 11 have all sold. Um, so it was a pretty good success, especially since it was a fundraiser. So I'm still hopeful that those last couple will, um, those last few will sell. I ended up emailing uh, the places that inspired the paintings and offering them a discount and just saying, if they wanted them that, um, yeah, that I would give them a discount because the, the main purpose is just to raise money for this organization anyway. So, all right. Um, so just putting plastic and wrapping it up. And this way, I hope you guys can still hear me over all this folding plastic, but the other good thing about doing it this way is that if for whatever reason, like heaven forbid, that would be terrible, but if for whatever reason the box got wet, um, then the pieces would stay dry. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna put some bubble wrap over it. And this is gonna be more than sufficient for this kind of a framing where there's no glass on the front. But um, I've never shipped anything with glass just because the extent that you have to go through um, to keep it from breaking is, is pretty pronounced. And even then, like it can still, stuff can still break. So um, if you're wanting to package something that has glass on it, you need to go way above and beyond what I'm doing now. Um, but this is, this is good for just this kind of wooden only frame. And none of the, um, I'm using tape, but tape isn't actually touching the frame or the artwork anywhere. It's just all on the plastic. And I have, I think four of these little end cap things that I have made for another, um, for when I shipped some originals to a show in California last year. 
So I'm just gonna reuse those. No, oh, I don't know where the fourth one ended up. Um, I have to make more anyway, so let me see how I did this in a little while. I don't remember exactly what I did. Okay, so it looks like I made this kind of a shape. So I will do that with some of these pieces of cardboard here. I think I'm actually gonna save this because this is a nice even piece of cardboard and I'm just gonna cut off the tops of these boxes. Another thing I wanna get for the studio uh, is it just an actual box cutter? Because using exactos isn't always the easiest for this. This does not have to be pretty. It's not, doesn't have to be exact at all. Okay, so cut another piece just like that, more or less, just like it. Okay, so these two corners get kind of folded and then that, I hope you can see that, goes over that and then it creates that nice little square pocket. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is this. Yeah, I'm just gonna place it right over the corner and then push the cardboard down. There we go. And these would probably be okay without the corner protectors, especially because I'm gonna put a bunch of these inflated things, which I have also saved. Um, I'm gonna put those into the package. Uh, but it's just better, I feel like it's better safe than sorry. And um, for this kind of frame where it's like the dark painted black, um, if there's even like a little bit of a nick, it, it will really show. So uh, I just wanna keep everything as safe as possible. And then I'm gonna do this. corner to the other corner and that corner and make that one quite long enough there we go okay so that's how it will look going into the box do the other one You also don't want to go too crazy with tape. Um, so I, I, it looks like I've used quite a lot, but hopefully it will just be easy enough to, to pop these off of the ends um, and then uh, peel, peel this off piece by piece. Because if you use too much tape, then the person has no uh, other way to get in besides cutting it with a knife. And it's just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> All right, so now I need to make four corner four of those corner pieces. Four squares. You can buy these things pre-made too, these corner things, if you're doing a lot of, um, if you're shipping out a bunch, like when I shipped out the pieces for that show last year, I could have bought these, but it was easy enough just to make them and I already have all the cardboard laying around, so it's a good use for it. Now, if I was smart, what I would have done is I would have saved the ones that came with the blitz frames, but I didn't. So I put the 
the flat side down with the corner of the frame uh, directly in this little V point, actually a little bit inside of it. And then I fold up and fold up like that. And then tape it. And these are like very homemade looking, very imperfect. The ones that you buy would be like perfect squares, but they totally get the job done. I'm just gonna write a thank you card, put a thank you card in there. I'm probably gonna send them a few stickers too, um, just because they bought two originals. So um, I definitely wanna show my gratitude and then I will package it up. Mm, uh oh. Yeah, this is tight. Interesting. I wonder if I do need a bigger box. It's tricky because you want it to be very, you do want it to be snug. You don't want them to move around at all, but you also don't want it to be too tight. Maybe I should use paper. In there instead. Let's see if that can make a difference. Oh yeah, that's what I need to do. Well, luckily I saved a bunch of this too. I forget what this was from. Oh, this was from um, Skillshare sent me a gift. Um, sent top teachers gifts. So that was what that came in. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good. And then I'll print out the label and the customs form and we'll be set to go. Hey guys, it is a little bit after three. Yeah, I'm just talking to our friends. We're gonna make it quick, okay? A little bit after three, somebody just woke up and she's in a very sensitive mood and is really upset at me because I wouldn't let her play with uh, my pencil sharpener <laughs> that she can easily fit her fingers into. So, um, yes, uh, we've been having a bit of a meltdown about that. Um, but I got the um, originals all packaged up. I um, initially was gonna try to get that over to the post office this afternoon, but I think it's just gonna happen tomorrow because it's already three and um, yeah, it's just the day is going by. So um, I did purchase the label already on ShipStation with insurance and everything. It's gonna be like $90. So um, yeah, it's kind of a pain, um, but that's why I don't like to ship framed artwork. So um, I will, oh, and I used my, just my home scale and it was pretty accurate. So um, it ended up being like 10 pounds with all the packaging See, materials. So. What, are you, what are you looking for? See belly. See belly? Battery. Oh, see battery? You want to see the... She knows that we just had to change the battery on the camera. Yeah, would you like to hold the battery? Okay, yeah, you can hold that. Um, so, uh, that was today, and then this afternoon while I was... Oh, well, we put a different one in. We put another one in there already, so we don't need that one. That one needs to take a nap. That one needs to be charged. Um, I was just doing different email stuff, um, going back and forth with a few different clients who were late on payments and then one who sent me a payment today, but it was like a fraction of what was due. Um, and then they thankfully got back to me and it turns out that they just had accidentally filled my invoice with the amount from someone else's invoice. So they're going to send a, um, a check for the balance tomorrow. Um, and then the other ones are probably not gonna happen till after the holiday, but um, that is what it is. And then it sounds like, I, I'm not gonna say who yet, but it sounds like one of my editorial clients um, wants to potentially do a, um, like a regular, uh, a regular column, a regular feature where I'll, I'll do at least one. Oh, you know what? That's not a great thing to play with, pumpkin. You can touch this part of it, but not the light bulb. 
She's got one of my studio lights. Bye. You want to hold the battery again? Here you go. No, no battery. Oh, you want me to hold it? Okay, I will. Yeah, sounds like they want to do a, a regular feature, so <clears throat> that will be cool if it does indeed come together. Oh, uh, there's nothing in there, but you can open it up if you want. So, um, tomorrow, um, I don't think, so the way that this works with um, Meg doing the editing is I need to like start the upload uh, of the content to Dropbox for her to edit like pretty early Friday mornings. So I don't think I'm actually gonna get any vlogging done um, tomorrow. So I don't know, this vlog may be like five minutes long. I hope there was at least something good in here. Um, like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to, Bust out the vlog camera because it had been a little while. Um, hopefully, so I think you guys will be watching this the week after Christmas. There may not be a video the week after New Year's. We'll see. Um, or I may just decide to randomly vlog again next week. We'll see. <laughs> um, but wherever you're at, <laughs> however this video turned out, I hope you have um, a really happy holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas if you're celebrating that. Um, that's what we'll be celebrating. We'll just be with my parents and brother and sister up in Salem. Um, and I'll be taking a few days off afterwards. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope this time of year is great for you wherever you're at and um uh feeling scattered i always feel scattered when i'm trying to wrap up the vlog and penelope's here but um you know all the usual stuff thank you to my patrons special thank you to my patrons for uh supporting this channel and helping me to make videos um thank you to all of you for watching to the amazing and talented meg for editing and um and also she did the animation on um on the little intro screen that you see for both last week's video and this week's video so um she's just a multi-talented person you know what i think we're gonna leave that one in the case that's an old little travel camera yeah we're gonna leave that well i can take you want to hold it well you have to be very gentle very gentle uh yes thank you thank you thank you uh please leave a comment uh if you like the video and um th hit the thumbs up subscribe all of that and uh merry christmas happy holidays happy new year um i think in the next video or maybe a video soon we should talk about goals for 2019 so actually leave me any questions that you have about that or any of your goals um and we will do that all right um penelope can you say bye 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 can you say happy new year can you say happy new year happy happy new year happy new year new year she could totally say it, but she's being shy. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.